Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about DC shunt motor. Right, let's see. Shunt motor nothing but the field winding in parallel to armature winding nothing but let's see here this is my armature and this is my field like this let's see this is the supply voltage V which is the current IL this IL divided into two parts one is called armature current and another one is called ISH here we have a armature winding which is developed back EMF and armature resistance of course this is RSH right this is simply the DC shunt motor diagram here also even though load changes the flux is exactly constant DC shunt machines are constant flux machines from this we know torque directly proportional to phi into IA but where the flux is constant torque directly proportional to IA is the first one and next one speed directly proportional to EB by phi where the flux is constant speed directly proportional to EB is the second one and also this ISH is equals to the voltages are same that's why V by RSH this is same for DC shunt motor DC shunt generator long shunt compound motor long shunt compound generator ISH is equals to V by RSH it is clear next to what are the current equations from this the current equations il is equals to ia plus ish this is what the current equation from this i want ia ia is equals to il minus ish this is for motor whereas for generator IA is equals to IL plus ISH for DC shunt generator but this is for DC shunt motor is it clear so this is DC shunt motor next what is the EMF equation here what is the voltage equation here dry voltage V is equals to IA RA plus EB from this EB is equals to V minus IA RA from this IA is equals to V minus EB by RA V minus EB by RA this IA this IA is equal to IL minus ISH of course here we have another drop that is brush voltage drop is also there these are the brushes its drop also is there and next one I want to write the power equation how we can get the power equation multiply with current V into IL is equals to IA square RA plus EB into IA plus brush losses plus this is also we have to include here we can write as voltage is same that's why V into ISH if voltage is not same we have to write that ISH square RSH even now also ISH square RSH is his correct answer this is simply about DC shunt motor mathematical equations so the diagram from the diagram mathematics next one graphical manner okay let's go to draw the graphs the first graph is speed and the armature current let's draw the graph between 
armature current and the speed where we know that eb is equals to v minus ia ra eb is nothing but k phi n that is equals to v minus ia ra so n is equals to v by k phi minus ia ra by k phi we know that if ia is zero if ia is zero n is equals to v by k phi which is called the no load speed n not this is the no load speed n not if ia increases then automatically this drop increases then speed decreases of course the speed decreases that is like this this is the speed reduces actually for example here is the 1000 rpm here 995 rpm at no load 1000 at full load 995 very small decrement this is not much more very small decrement that's why this is called a constant speed motor you should remember this right next one here if ia increases automatically armature flux increases we know that when armature flux increases armature reaction increases then the total flux decreases if the total flux decreases speed increases nothing but this is the speed with armature reaction this is the speed without armature reaction this is the no load speed we know that already we discussed in separately excited motor this is the dc shunt motor speed characteristics okay so here the speed is mostly constant that's why this is called constant speed motor right right sir first one next uh, second one what is the second one torque and armature current we know that torque directly proportional to phi into ia but the flux is constant so torque directly proportional to ia if ia is equals to zero then the torque also zero if ia increases then torque also increases we know that so how the graph how the graph i will draw here the graph for this one is c this is ia and this is the torque see when ia zero torque zero when ia increases torque increases but after some time goes into saturation like this this is the ia torque graph and this is the speed and ia graph and third one is the speed and torque of course the speed and the torque also same because torque directly proportional to ia we know that that's why the torque and the speed and the armature current and speed the graphs are similar this is what the dc shunt motor analysis what are the applications of dc shunt motor i said you already this is a constant speed motor of course here torque directly proportional to ia nothing but normal starting torque so what are the applications of dc shunt motor constant speed normal starting torque applications so i will draw here the applications of dc shunt motor is that applications constant speed normal starting torque applications what are those what are those the first one is the wind blowers we know that and next one is the fans and next one is the where we are using this dc shunt motors 
DC shunt motors used as a auxiliary motor in synchronous machine for synchronous motor starting we are using auxiliary motor and also the DC shunt motors are used as a constant speed motors like a pumps in different types of pumps these are generally used for DC shunt motor generally for example pumps are there for example bore motor pumps no need to control the speed the when the switch is on it will flows the water it will deliver the water continuously no need to increase the water level decrease the water level that's why no need to control the speed at those case for constant speed applications we can use DC shunt motors right this is simply about DC shunt motor uh, diagram mathematics graph applications right thank you